So we started reading from Matthew chapter 10 about two days ago. And the beauty, how privileged these apostles were, that from the many disciples Jesus had, we heard the apostles' name being mentioned one after the other. They were chosen by Jesus. And you can imagine how excited they were to be apostles of Jesus. Yesterday, Jesus gave them the mission. Oh, go to the homes, preach, cure the sick. Hey, so wow. <laughs> and today, Christ using the principle of from the known to the unknown begins to tell them the realities of the job. Sometimes when you receive, you apply for a job. And uh, you receive the appointment letter. You are so excited. You are the happiest. You get some good food to eat. And you are happy. You, are, you, you have wonderful dreams. You do this. And I, I'll do that. I'll, I'll do this. I'll kill myself and work. They tell you, you go orientation. HR. Then you start the work. It is there that you see wolves. <laughs> wolves chasing you. I'm telling you. So Christ has told them. And so, in our case, where is the lie? Sometimes parishioners come, priests come, myself, and say, Father, we are going to talk to them. say, hey, where is the lie? We are not even dead yet. We are lucky. Christ said, brother, brother, will hand you over to death. D-E-A-T-H. Owo, owo, death. So if somebody is insulting you, <laughs> you be happy. You are not, you are not dead yet. Say so children will hand over their they will be angry with their parents. They will put they, they will put their parents to death. Hmm. And Christ will tell us that is why you have to be shrewd as what? The serpent. Be simple. As the dove, shrewdness, shrewd. It does not mean as a no, 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 no. A shrewd person. You can check your dictionaries. A shrewd person is a person who has, who is very sharp in judgment. Something happens, and within a second, can take. Mm, if I go there, I'm in trouble. Let me pass here. Somebody comes, hey, how are you? Hey, have you heard the director has done this? A shrewd person. You can look at the person's face and you can see the wolf in the person's face. He just wants you to do what? To talk. And that same person will take you to the court to be killed. I'm telling you. A shrewd person knows when to speak, when to remain silent, when to smile, when to have a serious face. When to hug a shrewd, 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 shrewd person, you know when to act in simple terms. What the Catholic Church we call the human virtues, you have what we call prudence. Prudence, you know when to act, what to do at a particular time, and that is why for us Catholics we call it part of the human virtues. Please let us be shrewd. The kind of world we are in today. There are wolves everywhere. Wolves in the church. I can be a wolf. So many. Are we ready for the mission? Christ has already told us. Once they are warning you, they are also what? Arming you. I remember in Pope John's, they used to tell us that. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. The ammunition for us to survive, Christ is giving us be simple like a dove but in your mind you know what you are doing don't be so big. please be simple yes be simple because they are not simple they are complicated they are sophisticated be simple be humble let god inspire you let the holy spirit inspire you they will take you to places they will report you to, to, to your director general, to your district director, to whatever. They will transfer you. They will do this to you. <laughs> oh, be shrewd 
like the serpent. Well, well, you know what? Well, well, snake. Today Christ says we should follow the snake. <laughs> Shoot like it. Because the snake will walk. Well, hey, I will lie. What does he he it, it knows where to pass. Sometimes we want to behave like with all respect. What they say in a Ghanaian parlance, mumu, mumu, mumu. A Christian cannot be mumu. No. Because you have the Holy Spirit in you. You should know when to act and when not to act. But I'm telling you, all these are gifts of the Holy Spirit. To be shrewd, it's a gift of the Holy Spirit. He gives you that power, that human virtue for you to survive, to navigate, navigate, to negotiate your way in our world today. Oh, don't give up. He says, those who endure to the end will be saved. Let us endure. And that is why for me, I always say, in this world of ours, social networking is important to network. Let those of us with the same mentality, those of us who call ourselves Catholic Christians, those of us who call ourselves Christians, who believe in the way of Christ, let us rally support for each other. Let us support each other and defeat the powers of darkness. Yes, they may be wolves, but with the Holy Spirit in us, we shall defeat them. Amen.